Hi everybody, Dan here with TrendSpider, and in this video I'm going to do a little experiment with a new indicator that we've added to the platform called Candle Time that is designed to give you the ability to use time-based parameters in your strategies, alerts, scanners, and so forth. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to test a, a theory that a, a trading mentor of mine once told me about. And he said, um, it goes something like this. Uh, if you buy the open every day and sell the close, you will perform worse than if you buy the close and sell the following open. So um, the theory being that most of the market's gains or big moves occur after hours in the form of gaps or um, you know pre or post market trading. So we're going to see what that looks like by running some back tests and flipping around and looking at a few symbols to see how it plays out. First thing you'll notice is on my chart here, I've already added this candle time indicator. And note, this is a 30 minute chart that we're on here. This indicator uh, shows you the time of the day as it progresses, right? So as it bottoms out each day, that's in the morning when the day is just starting. And as it closes out and peaks for the day, that's the end of the session. If you were to add session markers to your chart, you'd see they'd line up perfectly with the opens of each session. So let's test that out and see what that looks like. First thing we do is going to open the strategy tester. And I've, uh, just to save a moment of time here, I've already pre-made uh, the, the conditions I want to play with. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to buy on open, right? And since we're on the 30-minute chart, and this uses uh, uh, Eastern time in these conditions, right? Um, I'm going to set this to before 10 a.m., meaning it's going to trigger on the very first 30-minute candle, and it's going to buy at the open of the second 30 minutes of each day. And on the exit, I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm going to load from a template. I'm going to select on close, which I made a, a few minutes ago. And this is going to do the same thing, but it's going to buy at the end of the day. Remember, the exchange is on Eastern time. So um, we're going to buy at, uh, at the end of the day. And this actually should be that. So uh, let's see what happens. We're going to run the test. And we're going to see what it looks like buying to open and selling to close. And you can see here that um, we didn't lose money right on this particular asset actually i probably should adjust that condition shouldn't i um, let's try it this way just to just to get it more precisely towards the close of the day right so let's see how did that look it's a little bit better let's make it one more uh half hour block up and see how see how this looks there we go so now we're buying at the very open of each trading session right on the uh, second candle and we're selling at the end on the last candle on its open uh, to exit. And you can see the distribution of uh, uh, performance here, right? We did 539 trades over two years of data on the 30 minute chart, right? And our mean trade return was a measly 0.01%, right? And um, you can see that we lost 45% of our trades and we won 55 of our trades and the size of our winners and losers was more or less the same. Right. So this is not a great strategy, right? Buying the open every day and selling the close on something like SPY isn't one, isn't uh, profitable. Let's try it on something else. I mean, let's look at Apple, right? We can run the same strategy on Apple and see how that would have worked, right? And it looks like on Apple, uh, it equally underperforms, right? You make 3.41% versus 90.4%. 2% buying and holding for the same two years. And again, that's a large sample of 533 positions. So, um, and the distribution is actually a little bit worse, right? With, um, you know, you winning a little bit more of your trades, but your losers being larger than your winners. So again, this strategy doesn't seem like it works very well. Uh, we can try it on a few other symbols in the S and P here and just see, right? And we'll see, uh, what I'm going to guess is pretty consistent underperformance, just buying to open on each day and then selling the close, right? You can see what that looks like again here, right? And again, it's a similar distribution with uh, bigger losers than your winners and pretty much even split between the number of trades that you win and the number that you lose. So, okay, let's uh, flip back to SPY, oops, SPY here, right? And let's flip these conditions and see what it looks like in reverse. Um, and mind you, I'm not being super scientific here, right? Um, you know, I'm just uh, I'm just running a very simple simple back test. Um, obviously, you know, if I were to be doing this to 
mathematically and statistically prove a point, I would want to do it on the same symbols with a large number of symbols. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do this. And if you're interested in really exploring this on more symbols, please feel free. It's very easy to do, as you can see. So in this test, we're going to buy the clothes, right? So I think we set this to 1430 earlier to make it more precise. And we're going to sell the open, right? So we're going to load. And this means we're going to hold every position that we take overnight right and the move that we capture right the performance of our strategy will be relatively equal to the overnight price moves right the the um out of regular trading hours and you can see what that looks like here right um we are buying the closes right so on this candle at the very end we're buying the open of that candle that's our entry and we're immediately selling on the next candle, the first, or I'm sorry, this uh, open of the second candle of each day right after. And remember, this is again on 30 minute charts. And you can see that the numbers here look a lot better, right? On SPY, we were doing 0.01% um, versus 13.7. And here we're doing 8.77% versus 13.7. So we're still underperforming um, the index that we're uh, benchmarking against. But you can see there are periods of time uh, where this strategy actually outperformed SPY, right? And you can see on the bull ride up and, um, you know, it actually seemed to do better, all right? And on some of the bullishness here, it actually seemed to do a little better too. So this seems to work a little better. Let's see, uh, let's see what that looks like on some other symbols. Um, we'll start with ABC here. I think that's one that we looked at earlier. That had a 0.02% return previously. Um, now your mean trade return is 0 0.06, so it's three times better, right? And on an overall basis here, you actually outperform the asset here itself, right? So the blue would be your buy and sell strategy, and this colored, multicolored line would be the asset's performance itself, right? And you can see you've actually outperformed it by almost double, right? Um, and we can check a few other symbols just to see what it might look like on these. Um, just to just to drill the point home and you can again see on this strategy on ABT here right you underperformed buy and hold by half right but you still did pretty well um, I can't remember if this was one that we looked at earlier but I would assume that the same rule would kind of hold true here as well so um, hopefully you found that video interesting. This is um, a very simple way to use the back tester, but um, you know, not a lot of people know about this uh, candle time indicator or how to use it um, and its power. And consider this, um, this enables you to combine time-based criteria with other technical criteria that you may also care about. So you may wanna buy MACD crosses that occur in the first few hours of the day or whatever it might be. This is just another way that TrendSpider gives you the flexibility to take whatever trading strategy is in your head and program it into a system and test it and refine it and make it better. So with that, I'll leave you. I hope everybody enjoyed this little short video I made here. I hope everyone has a safe and comfortable and fun and happy Memorial Day weekend. Enjoy the day off from trading on Monday, and I'll see you all on Tuesday. Bye-bye.